Good morning guys. Well, it's almost afternoon now. We are at the Kenley 95. We're gonna stop and get some lunch and maybe take our full 30 minute break. I don't know. See how long it takes us to get food. But uh, then we'll get back on the road. Uh, update on the fuel situation. I have seen some stations. I had a list of stations that were running out of fuel. A uh, pilot sent out an email and I had, I think it was on Facebook, someone sent me a um, another list of some places that were running out of fuel. I wonder if this is relentless transport here on the right. It is. Yep, he's got boats. I wonder if he's in there. He's got his freaking windows tinted, you can't see. I'm gonna swing around here and uh, see if he's in his truck. I follow a dude on Instagram, he's got a pretty sweet setup. Uh, did hot shot work, um, did a lot of boat hauling, and now he's got a semi and does boat hauling. So if this guy that I'm following doesn't take the spot beside him, I'm gonna pull him beside him. squeeze in through here it's a pipe I'm gonna hop out here and get this pipe so I don't run it over and pop a tire I guess somebody had fun at the truck stop I took that piece of pipe you never know when you might need a two-foot section for a breaker bar this is his truck here he ain't got no lights on I'm gonna squeeze in beside him but he ain't got no lights on don't want to knock on his door if he's sleeping. Oh, it's raining. It's a nice enclosed setup. Millionaire Auto Transport. This guy's backing into this spot out of his way see what else we got going on out here Woo. it's a little chilly to be in shorts it's like 46 degrees windy Bus is different. Check the load, everything's good. The bed's still riding perfect. Hey Jason, how are you hey, doing? Um, I'm okay. I just read your text. I'm just uh uh I'd rather talk on the phone over this and uh go over what's going on. So, uh, oh, okay. You, you, it's, I'm the owner of probably talking about a text you got from Lou, right? Uh, I don't know who it, I just called the number back. Sorry, okay. Whatever text you got responded back to, to it because it wasn't me. Okay, Paul. is there a, a number I can call to talk to this gentleman? No, just if I mean, if he texted you, respond back via text. Okay. I guess right. I guess our standards are it's easy to text people, right? Like you told me. I haven't spoke to you, sir. Again, you have to text the number. Um, you have to text uh, whatever text you got. Alrighty. All right. People, man. Oh, so sorry about that abrupt. Uh, confusion look I don't know look of confusion on my face as I read this two page text message from a guy that can't even call me in regards to non-payment so it's pretty much he just sent me this long text that I just read over it's pretty much the exact same thing I've been saying that we ruined their relationship so therefore they're not going to pay us which 
the relationship wouldn't have been ruined if we would have been paid. We shouldn't have to go chase our money. If your employee would have paid us on time, because I know he was paid, the customer and the dealer said that this gentleman has the money, that if he would have paid us, we would never be in this situation. We wouldn't have to file against our bond. So he says, I already let my bond company know and I already let our attorney know. Like, I hate when people say the word attorney just to scare people off. I'm not scared. I don't have... I did my contracted job. It's completed. I will get my money one way or another. If we have to get a court, we get a court. It's like... It's ridiculous that people think because they messed up and now that this is this is going to cost them more money because they lost this customer. They think they can just take that lost money from that I'm owed and just put it in their pocket. I don't understand. All right, so this, this isn't a problem for me. This is what the problem is. This place had fuel for 271 before all this happened and that's how much they raised their price just because of this whole fuel shortage, which honestly I'm thankful just to be able to get fuel, so I'm not really complaining, but uh, it's just kind of ridiculous that, you know, supply and demand though, that's the country we live in. Uh, so quick little updater on that company. I did go ahead and file against their bond. Uh, and once that process is all over, I will do a full video probably on the main channel about that and how it's done and what you need to do for that so uh, i don't want to have to do that but i completed my job and i need to get paid for it so this is what it is so if there was any hope that he was gonna pay i wouldn't file against their bond but the owner of the company i'm assuming that's who it is sent me a text wouldn't even call me and i asked him to call me after he sent me the text he still hasn't and when i call they say there may be audio from that guy saying like you have to text that number but he flat out said he's not paying it because i severed their ties with their customer which was only done because they didn't pay their bill their customer knows what kind of people they are now, and um, I guess they're my customer now. So if my prediction is correct, if I take two more left turns, there should be a truck beeping at me. There should be a hot blonde with Chipotle. A black dog, a brown dog, and a little baby girl that'll be happy to see me. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys updated with the whole situation of this company not paying. See what happens.